Have you ever wondered how ECA performs compliance checks? If yes, follow this short video. First, let's pick a random chemical from our database, for example, chlorotoluene. The search gives us a list of all the substances containing this word. Let's pick, for example, 2-chlorotholuene. This brings us to the web page where ECA publishes information on substances that have been registered so far. Currently, our public database contains non-confidential information on more than 10,600 substances derived from about 42,000 registration dossiers held by ECA. Here you can see that information about the substance is grouped under various headings similar to those present in the registration dossiers checked by ECA. This means that here you can find general information on the substance, which also includes some details on the substance identity, as well as information on classification and labeling, the various human health and environmental hazard classes, and guidance on safe use. Each heading is subdivided into different subheadings containing individual endpoints. Let's take, for example, the endpoint called Biodegradation in Water Screening Test. Now, if ECA is performing a targeted compliance check on this endpoint, for example, this means the following. Firstly, ECA searches its database for those dossiers for which this endpoint is a standard information requirement. Secondly, ECA performs an IT-based selection of those dossiers that do not seem to fulfill the legal requirements for this endpoint. And thirdly, ECA's experts verify whether the information for this endpoint complies with what the law requires. In contrast, in an overall compliance check, ECA experts perform an assessment of all relevant information contained in one single registration dossier. This means that ECA assesses the compliance of the information provided under the headings, subheadings and individual endpoints that are relevant for the safe use of the chemical. Such assessments requires input by experts from a range of scientific disciplines. The check also covers the chemical safety report, where such a report is required from the registrant. If ECA concludes that the information in the dossier does not comply with what the law requires, both in a targeted or overall compliance check, the registrant receives a request to provide further information.